Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We're going to be talking about some of our decisions that drain our energy, and it's based on a daily motivation article um, about six energy draining habits that we need to quit. If you have any questions, feel free to give Dr. Justine a text 647-987-9355. I wanted to welcome our leader here, Dr. Justine Blaney uh, Broker, here with us today. She believes that everyone deserves a healthcare team that focuses on prevention, optimal health, and open communication. Please help me welcome Dr. Justine. All right, great stuff here. So many people are just drained, overwhelmed. Um, just feel exhausted, right? And so we're going to talk about how do we get that energy back? How do we get our mojo coming back? But I just want to remind you that we are trying our best to provide so much free information every single week, just so you can do one thing better every single week. One thing makes massive changes, that compounding effect. If we just make one change and stick to it, at the end of a year, end of five years, we can make massive difference. So we have a talk every single week for you because we care. And all of this is free and all of this can be shared with friends or family that don't live locally. Um, so we have more talks coming about stress, more talks about detox, how to do it safely because you really can feel crappy if you do it incorrectly. How to deal with sweating. I mean, that's challenging if you feel like you have BO, right? And a lot of de um, deodorants are not healthy. And then we're going to talk about different types of stretches to do before and afterwards um, and some golf stretches. So stay tuned with us. We are here to be able to help you. All right. Lots and lots of great information. So we're going to talk about how to deal with these energy um, drainers, right? And the reality is we do have the power to make change. We do get up in the morning and get to decide if we hit that snooze button or, or not. And if you are hitting the snooze button, put those rolls in, the spinal rolls. That is going to help mold your spine and help increase your energy. So at least get two things done at once. Um, but usually when you hit the snooze button, you don't feel better. You feel worse. Get up, get going, get moving. Use that 10 minute snooze to stretch and get some exercise moving. So we're going to cover six ways to deal with um, uh, stress and, and six ways that we have, unfortunately, poor energy draining habits. So number one is making sure we make a decision. Decisions um, make us or break us. And even the lack of decision, like no decision is a decision. So the one thing we know that's consistent is our decisions or lack of decisions impact our lives. So today we're going to talk about how to make some new decisions in order to get rid of these energy draining habits. All right. So number one energy draining habit is holding on to the past. And I personally can say I'm guilty of that. Um, uh, the, the, the past is done and we should find better ways to just let go. But I'm one of those ones that think about it and think about it and think about it all the time. So I'll give you an example. Um, recently, just before my birthday, uh, I backed out. I was, you know, you know, do you look right, look left, backed out slowly. And another car was trying. He saw me. He said he saw my backup lights. Um, he said he honked. I didn't have the music on yet, so I didn't hear the honk. But anyway, as I'm backing out, he tried to speed by me, and I, um, my back end hit his back end. So very small accident, um, but nobody's hurt. But man, can I, it's hard to let go because it's so frustrated. Um, even though some great people, uh, Ricky, to help me, uh, you know, deal with, okay, how much damage had to deal with it. It's, you know, less than, well, my car might be $500 damage. His car might be $2,000 damage, but we hold on to it. Um, I'll give you another example of, I was cut off on the 401. This is now almost 15 years ago. And I ended up doing a 360 on the 401 on the guardrail. So all four sides of the car, bang, 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 bang on the car, um, the, the air bags went off smoke fields everywhere. Cause those air bags, it hits you in the face. Um, 
And so now still, you know, 15 years later, I don't like to be near the guardrail. It still gives me the heebie-jeebies after that's had happened. So it is so easy to hold on to grudges, to fears, to challenges that have happened to us in the past um, with friends or family that have, have hurt our feelings and to to realize that, you know, when we're holding on to those fears, those grudges, rather than letting them go, um, you know, that only hurts us. And so for me, it's sometimes it's just really visualizing, visualizing that smoke away from me, um, doing the wax on, wax off, like just let that go, those grudges, those stresses. And sometimes that's a regular repetitive practice. Sometimes you do need to go near that guardrail and just take a breath and say, yep, I can do it. You know, um, that I'm, I'm not getting cut off today. That happened in the past. Those comments, maybe that person regrets it and move on. Let it go. Well, I'm bigger than that. I'm stronger than that. I'm more confident than that. That those uh, comments, those grudges, they are not going to affect the rest of my week, the rest of my life. Um, and a lot of times when we look back at those fears, those grudges, those things that hold us back, really, these are opportunities for stepping stones, for learning, for improving, um, for learning, even if it's just about forgiveness, for forgiveness for others, forgiveness for ourselves, for making uh, a poor choice, because all we can do is say we're going to get better every day in every way, right? We're going to make one step better, rather than allowing those to, uh, that past to affect us in the future. So, the art of letting go isn't a one-time thing. It's a regular thing. At least it is for me. So number one draining habit is learning how to let go rather than hold on to the past. Next energy draining habit, number two, is poor diet. You are what you ate, ate. So looking at different forms of adding in healthy routines. Every 35 days, your skin replaces itself. Your body is constantly replacing with new cells, new heart, new organs, new skin. So you literally replace yourself on a regular basis. And so the fuel that you put in affects the new you. So start today. What can you add that's healthy every single day? It's so much easier to add. So how can you add those healthy avocados, healthy nuts and seeds? Make that easy and accessible, healthy vegetables, cut up regular in the fridge. If you're not somebody who's going to food prep, buy them already prepped and cut for you so that you have the healthy snacks on a regular basis. It is so easy for all of us to get into convenience food. They make it so hard. Everywhere you drive, you see the big signs of convenience food, but that doesn't make it healthy. For example, if you are going out for convenience food, Look for naked burritos, for example. So you're just getting lots of more salad, more vegetables, and then careful with the sauces. Don't go with the fried um, um, fish or, you know, you're looking for healthier protein. That isn't the best, but it's better than uh, many of the other fast foods, right? So the next part is really looking at food prep because cooking every single day, most of us, uh, you know, just feel too busy or it takes too much time. It's even if you like cooking, my husband is an amazing cook, but it's not something he wants to do every single day. So planning the food prep for him, you know, he cooks typically Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and we're prepping for the food on the other, for the other days of the week, right? So making sure that uh, you have a routine. My, my daughter, Sunday afternoons is trying to prep for the week until Friday, right? So for her, it's like one day, totally make the soups, make lots of foods, get lots of prepare your food for the week. So number two energy draining is pour gas in the tank. Look for healthier foods. Number three is too much social media, right? Social media can be the energy drainer. Um, just having your phone on you all the time is means you want to check it. You're looking for the little red dot. You feel connected to it all the time. I highly recommend take that phone and have it off your body. For me, I check my phone three times a day, first thing in the morning, um, for anything that's crucial for the office. But I also have my, you know, spiritual time with my phone, um, my Darren Hardy uh, uplifting message video of the morning. 
So I try to use it in the morning for things that feed me and build me. Um, but then I check it uh, morning, lunch, and, and at the end of the night. It's not a, something on a regular basis. If you need it for work, careful with the doom scrolling. It's so easy to go down that rabbit hole of Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever your Twitter, your, um, you know, uh, rabbit hole is for you. And for some people, it's all of them that you can get stuck in. And then it takes so much of your time. So if you are in that area, uh, Make sure you walk on the spot. Make sure you're doing holding a, a a wall sit. Maybe make sure if you're listening to a podcast, you're exercising at the same time. Um, if you're doing your daily news, make sure that sometimes you can listen to it rather than read it. Or hold a plank. Do two things at once. That'll limit your uh, your uh, reading because you can only hold a plank so long. Um, so just careful that we limit our time. And then I try to look for those positive things. So I do like TikTok, but mostly I'm looking for different exercises, different ways to train, different information about nutrition. So um, limiting the scope of what you're going to uh, look at for your social media and limiting your time, because usually that's what's going to increase anxiousness, uh, depression. Um, it's going to look at making us feel like we compare ourselves to others or other perfect environments, perfect bodies. So limit time, limit quantity, um, and look for quality uh, that you're spending your time, things that are not going to lead us to this negative rabbit hole uh, in order to be able to help ourselves and get rid of that negative draining habit. Number uh, four is just taking the time to breathe. So much is so fast, go, 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 that we're just breathing from our scalings up, not getting a deep breath. So even if it just means every time you sit on the toilet, focusing on deep breathing, great. If it means every time you brush your teeth, 10 big deep breaths, great. If it means in the car, your first bit of driving, you know, just 10 deep breaths, 10 seconds, 10 seconds in, 10 seconds out, great. Maybe it's when you're waiting for your computer to reboot. You're waiting for a microwave. You're waiting for the kettle. You're waiting for the coffee to build. Taking those 10 deep breaths, 10 presses in, 10 breaths out. Really focusing on relaxing our jaw, making sure our tongue's not to the top of our mouth, relaxing our shoulders. So much of it is the shoulders are getting up tense, 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 tense. So Focus time. Connect it to something that you already do, all right? Whether it's driving, um, making coffee, making tea, uh, maybe it's in the shower that you're doing your neck stretches, shoulder stretches, and focusing on time to breathe every single day. This is free. This has helped reduce that tension, reduce that strain so that you have more energy throughout the day. Number five is waiting for that right time. Just, I'll do it later. I'll do it next month. The right time is now. If something is important to you, the right time is either do it now or plan it now. If some, for example, with, um, I wanted to get back into my artwork now that I'm an empty nest or something that's going to fill my tank in a positive way. So I scheduled time before Christmas in order to have time to do stained glass. Going to schedule time in order to have a pottery class because I love doing work with my hands. So what is important to you? Schedule it and that's what makes it happen. The right time is now. For your exercise routine, just time in nature, plan specific days for a hike. Even if you don't know where you're going, plan the time for when you're going to do that hike. Plan the time, specific times for your exercise routines. I know that I have a specific time Tuesday at 3.30, Wednesday, Fridays at 1.15 for my exercise routine, typically 10 o'clock on Thursdays, Saturdays first thing in the morning, and Sundays play hockey twice, right? I make sure I know exactly when my exercise routine is going to happen. If you're somebody who loves to cook or loves to bake, plan that for that specific time for you. Plan the time for an Epsom salt bath each week or a... Uh, a mini spa at home to do your nails or an opportunity that it's sports time to watch on TV. That's okay too, but it's a planned 
time that you're going to make sure that you have de-stress time, right? So plan your week, plan your year, it means plan your life um, in order to uh, get the best results. So the right time is now. Whatever you, is important to you, you're either doing it now or you're planning it, putting it on your schedule now. Number six is surrounding ourselves with negativity. All of us have friends or family that they're under a stress time and we do care about them. So I'm not saying never, but we need to make sure that we have it under control. You are, um, when you're around negative draining people, it does drain us. So with Reiki, you do, uh, you are going to be around negative people. You need to wax on, wax off. You need to wipe that negativity off so that you can still attack your day and then limit the time with those people where things just never go right or they're super stressed only ever talking about what they're stressed about versus what they're excited about and then just a self check in i know stress happens it happens to everybody whether it's renos whether it's um you know car accidents whether it's just traffic or it's work or it's family or you know, just a baby that doesn't sleep through the night. We all have stressors, but what are we talking about? When we are with friends and family, are we talking about what's exciting? The baby that's just started to walk, the baby that's eating solid foods, our kids that just played a sport, something exciting in our life, or are we talking about what's gone wrong all the time? So a self-check-in um, for, for how we're going to be the best family member, the best friends, um, but also looking at who you are surrounded with. They often say, show me your friends and I'll tell you your character. Our friends, habits, character rubs off on ourselves. So careful to limit that time with negativity. Um, if you know you're in a group environment and one person's more negative than others, don't sit near them, right? Go to spend time with positive people and prepare yourself every single day. So for me, I get up uh, very early, typically um, 4.30 uh, throughout the week, and I spend half an hour stretching and, uh, and time for spirituality and time to prepare myself for the day because I want to be in the best mood I can every single day to serve. And you want to purposely seek out time to be around friends, family. Um, they're going to build you. Um, and help enrich you, tell you the truth when you're off, but also talk to you about all the positive things in their own lives, the positive things in your life, and your goals. <clears throat> so the first step, um, you know, when we deal with these six energy draining habits is to identify what's affecting you. That happens with journaling, writing down what's happening in your week, and then reviewing it. Um, so definitely recommend to change your uh, habits is to audit yourself, audit your your last week. What was positive? What was negative? Where did you go that felt great? Um, uh, you know, where did you uh, spend time that built energy for you to help you be your best form of yourself? Because then you're going to be the best for your family, your friends, your um, spiritual or church environment, your teammates. So we want to let go of those draining habits, evaluate them. Yes, we do have bad days. None of us are perfect, but how do we bounce back faster, right? And to bounce back faster happens with this personal edit, audit. It is not going to be easy. All of us are going to have our ups and downs. All of us have our learning opportunities. But if we look at them as learning opportunities versus challenges, that changes how we get up the next day, right? So you can do it. Um, the part of changing our habits is definitely starting with a healthy sleep routine. So when we have positive sleep, we make better choices. If we're just trying to get through the day, that's going to mean when more of these energy draining habits, more of this negativity just seeps in. Um, so to get more sleep, one of the best things is put that phone down, get rid of that screen time, and create definitely sleep habits, times to go to bed, time to get up. I know, you know, can't always do that at a hockey game just recently, you know, it started late. So it's 1030 at night, got to, you know, going to bed 1230 and getting up at 430. So can't always do that. Uh, but then if you're consistent all the other days of the week, you can bounce back from those more challenging nights or, uh, you know, sleepless nights 
um, whether it's because of kids or because of a cough or because somebody snores, whatever the situation is, if you have regular habits, you bounce back from those tough nights better. To get ways to deal with stress and energy draining habits, we need a coach. We need someone to help us along the way, whether it's counseling or uh, a chiropractor help coach you along the way or a naturopath to coach you along the way. Have somebody on your side cheering for you, helping to realize where you're off. Um, definitely your spouse is not a good person to be your coach. Uh, your best friend is not your best coach. You need somebody that's still a little bit on the outside who's going to point out when you're off track in a nice way and help reroute you, help you with that personal audit. So how does a chiropractor help? Chiropractors reduce stress, help improve your sleep. You, we find and remove those areas of subluxation. So when you look at the nervous system, the nerves control every function in your body. And that includes how you manage stress, how you manage these um, draining habits. So when you remove those subluxations, the pressure, the twists and turns on the spine that happen to all of us, whether we're on laptops, phones, uh, work environments, repetitive stress, poor way of sleep, we can't get rid of the stressors fully, but we can manage them better so that we can get that sleep. We can manage those daily uh, negativity, stressors, um, poor diets, things that when we're just not perfect, None of us are. We can manage it better, improve our function, improve the energy in the tank with chiropractic adjustments, helping to reduce that stress. So definitely, we'd love to be the coach. We'd love to be on your side. Take a look at these energy draining habits. Do a self-audit. Review it with a coach. Review it with an accountability person. We'd love to help you with that. Our naturopath, Dr. Udani, our acupuncturist, Dave, myself, our Sabine. Um, we're here to help you. So we do do complimentary consultations, meets and greets for family or friends. Um, and then if you just need extra time and you have more questions, um, need a little more help, let our front desk know and we'll reserve that extra time. Ongoing to reduce energy habits is staying tuned. Stay tuned to something positive on a regular basis. So that's why we have these amazing talks. Um, so coming up, we do have a talk on stress. We do have a talk on how to do healthy detoxes, how to mention healthy um, stretches and healthy ways to uh, detox with healthy sweating and not over sweating. So every single week, amazing topics coming your way. Stay tuned with us. Please do a positive review. That helps others. That's how they judge us. Take a few minutes and do that for us. Um, you'll make a difference to someone else. So um, we connect with us, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Look forward to being again with you soon. And let's together just make one step better all the time and get rid of those energy draining habits.